I used to be the ghost boy running insane. I used to be the ghost boy looking for fame. I used to work so hard to get it. So hard to get it. I used to be the one living in the fast lane. I used to be the one who only cry in the rain. I used to work so hard to get it. So hard to get it. Good morning, BCA Wolverines, and happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, February 4th. At this time, if you would please stand and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, guys, as mentioned before, ZMS Picture Day is finally here. For our BCA students, you will be able to come in between 12 and one on either one of those days. Pictures should not take longer than five minutes from the total time that you get here until the time that you leave. Uh, we will be sending out some sign-up information home, so please tell your parents to be on the lookout for that. That will also be put on social media, but we'll go through email and Infinite Campus Messenger. In continuing with our celebration of Black History Month, today we are taking a look at Mr. Frederick Douglass. He was born an enslaved person in February of 1818, yet became a prominent activist and public speaker within the abolitionist movement. When he was about 20, Douglas disguised himself as a sailor and escaped to New York, a free state without slavery. Douglas was free in the North, but he was still enslaved in the South. Soon he was so famous that he had to move to England so that his former owner couldn't capture him. In 1847, Douglas's friends raised money to buy his freedom from his owner, and he returned to the United States. But no matter where he was, Douglas continued to give powerful speeches, urging the end of enslaving people until he died on February 20th of 1895. His words are still inspiring people to this day. And on this day in history, in 1789, George Washington, the commander of the Continental Army, during the Revolutionary War was unanimously elected the first U.S. president by all 69 presidential electors. And several years later, in 1861, in Montgomery, Alabama, delegates from South Carolina, Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, and Louisiana convened to establish the Confederate States of America. But in 2004, history was truly changed when Mark Zuckerberg, a Harvard sophomore, launched Facebook. Within 24 hours, there were more than 1,000 participants. Today, with more than 2 billion active users, it is one of the most valuable companies in the world. Today, the first Thursday in February, is Optimist Day. So we are going to look at everything from the positive point of view, try to see the best in everything, and not be negative today. And our joke of the day, why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lactose. And I just realized I forgot to change the, the bitmoji on that. So me sitting in a car has nothing to do with cows and whether or not they have feet. So apologize for that. So make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a thrilling Thursday.